Welcome to an exciting tutorial on Adobe Illustrator and how to master the art of Adobe Illustrator. Illustrator is a vector-based program. Illustrator works with objects. My name is Robert Farrell. I've been using Illustrator and teaching Adobe Illustrator since 1987, 26 years. If there's a quicker, faster, better way to learn the program, then this is it. So stop watching other videos. They're going to waste your time with a lot of cyber babble and confusing techniques. I'm going to break down everything on Illustrator to make it so simple, it's frightening. You'll be a total master of this program within a month. Well, maybe two months. So let's get started. Again, my objective is to share with you how the program thinks and how to be a better user with Adobe Illustrator, which is a vector-based program. So let's get started. Okay, so I made myself a new document. This is just an 8 and a half by 11 document. The first shortcut I want to share with you is the rulers. Command R, rulers, view, rulers. Macintosh, it's command R. Windows, of course, it's control R. Now, once you have your rulers up there, what I typically like to do is put a guide. Now, it doesn't have to be a precise exact guide, but this guide is going to help me to build projects, basically from the center point. It doesn't have to be the exact center, but it's a good starting point. Now, if you're new to Adobe Illustrator, the first time you create guides under the view menu, the guides are not locked, so I highly suggest you lock the guides. So this is not an option by default. You have to physically go and lock guides. If you don't, then you can move the guides, and that's not good. So under the view menu, first thing we're going to do is lock the guides. Make a change, save a change. Good habits get into. Now, to make things enjoyable and simpler to comprehend, we're in Adobe Essentials. So if you're not inside of Essentials Workspace, I highly suggest that you go to Essentials. It's going to make everything much more enjoyable and easier to do. Now, here's what I want you to do. I want you to go to your color palette and detach your color palette because we're going to use that. I want you to go to your Layers palette and detach that. Everything else you can close down. I want you to go to your Pathfinder palette under the Window menu, Pathfinder, and bring that up and put that over here. So this is the starting point of how to get started with Adobe Illustrator. We want to work with layers. We want to work with colors. We want to work with Pathfinder. Everything else I'll talk about in subsequent videos in a very specific way okay now what i suggest you do and this is my own personal technique whenever you design something whatever i design from scratch so let's say i'm gonna design a logo or a jacket or a scarf or a piece of graphic or text everything i create from scratch goes in my design layer so i'm going to take my mouse over here and double click and simply call that design so anything i create from scratch is in my design layer now, of course, sometimes spelling helps. Make a change, save a change. Now, again, I'm going to share with you exactly the same techniques I've been using for the past 26 years to master this program. So the first thing you're going to do after you basically create your rulers and you put guides in here, and after you bring up your basic palettes, which is swatches, layers, and the transformation palette, which is Pathfinder, under the window menu. So once that's set up, what I want you to do is hit the A key. Now, what that's going to do, that's going to initialize the direct selection tool. Notice it's the A key. Now, I just want to select the A key first. So, therefore, whatever I do from this point, I can get back to that tool by holding down the command key. So, here's an example of that. If I hit the M key, M key is going to select my rectangle tool. Now, you might ask yourself, self, did he just say the M key for the rectangle tool? Why would Adobe Illustrator be so confusing to make M for rectangle? Why not R? Well, very simply, because R is for rotation, and I can't show the alphabet. M is for the marquee rectangle tool. O, I'm sorry, L is for the oval tool. So two quick shortcuts I want to, sh to share with you is the O and the L. I'm sorry, the L and the M. M is for the rectangle tool. L is for the oval tool. And we're going to use these both these tools extensively. So here's our objective. Here's what I want to simply do. I want to create a rectangle that's basically from the center of these guides. Now I can do that very simply by clicking and dragging. And as I drag, I'm going to hold down the Option key for Macintosh and the Alt key for Windows. Now in addition to this, I want to make a perfect rectangle 
from the center. So it's Option key Shift and drag. Make sure you hold out your modifier keys first before you let go of your mouse. Very important step. Now, what I have going over here is I have created a vector object. Anything about the object is under the object menu. We'll explore that in more detail in just a second. So right now, my object is filled with none and is stroked with none. The fill is the inside, the stroke is the outside. That's vocabulary for Adobe Illustrator. So here's what I want to do. We can toggle between these two by simply hitting the X key, the X key to exchange. Right now I'm on fill, right now I'm on stroke. Fill, stroke, fill, stroke, hitting the X key. So with the fill selected, we're going to come over and pick a color. I'm just going to pick this boring brown color. So that is now filled with brown. Now, the reason that that happened is because this was selected. If it wasn't selected, I couldn't change the color. In order to affect the object, I need to select the object. Now, we started out the class today by saying if you want to select something, you initialize this tool first. Once that tool is initialized, whatever tool you're inside of, I can go back to the selection tool by simply holding down the command key. So at this point, I never want you to physically go to select these two tools. I can get back to this tool by simply holding down the command key. So as an example, if I'm in the B for brush tool and I create a brush, okay, I can select it by holding down the command key. So holding down the command key Macintosh, the control key for Windows, will turn any tool into a selection tool. In fact, guys, that works in Photoshop, it works in Quirk Express, InDesign, it works in Flash, it works in Fireworks, any tool, it works in After Effects. Any tool can be a selection tool by simply holding down, keyword holding down, the command key. Okay, so now the reason I like to be in the direct selection tool, because the direct selection tool, which is a hollow tool, this tool right here, gives me the best of both worlds. Well, what do I mean by that? Well, I can select the object itself by holding down the command key, or I can choose to just directly select these anchor points. So here is how, here is how Illustrator thinks. Illustrator is an object-based program. Objects are vectors. As an example, if this was, if this was Photoshop, Photoshop is an image-based program. Pixels, so Photoshop has an image menu Image equals pixels. Illustrator is an object-based program. Objects equals vectors. So anything about the object is under the object menu. It's that type of thinking. So here's what we want to accomplish. We're going to directly select these two anchor points. And with those two anchor points selected, we can move just those two anchor points. Now, a couple of ways we can do this. We can do this, of course, with our mouse by holding down the command key. But we can also do this with the arrow keys. Arrow key to the right, moves to the right. Arrow key to the left, moves to the left. Now, here's a little production technique. Those arrow key increments are going to move based on your preferences, on your preferences. So, command K, command key K, Macintosh, control K, Windows. You can set up your keyboard increments by hitting Command K. So that's an example. Say that I wanted to move every time I hit the arrow key, left, right, up, down. Let's say I wanted to move this a quarter inch. Okay. Well, here's how this works. There's 72 pixels to an inch. 72 points, 72 pixels to an inch. We have to be working in points. So half an inch would be 36 would be half inch, 36 points. So if we wanted to move a quarter inch, that'd be 18 points. In fact, we can say 72 divided by four equals 18. You do the math right here. I did, probably didn't know you can do that. So I can say there's 72 points to an inch divided by four, which is 18 points. So now when I hit the OK button and at the arrow key to the right, it's gonna move quarter inch, quarter inch, quarter inch to the right, quarter inch, quarter inch, quarter inch to the left. Okay, so if I want to move this, again, command key moves it to the top, moves it to the bottom. Of course, under the edit menu, command Z undoes, command Z undoes, command shift Z would redo, command Z undoes. Windows, of course, that would be control Z and control shift Z. Okay, so in our next video, I'm going to get more into detail, but right now I just want to kind of get you started on how the program thinks and what it expects from you.
So if you want to affect the object, you need to select the object. So once you initialize that tool just one time, for the first time only, any tool you select, go back to the direct selection tool by simply holding down the command key. So I'll talk to you in the next video.